It's just one hour before the performance, and artistic director Elena Shobakova works the dancers hard to ensure perfection before they take to Doha's Opera House stage. They can't put a foot wrong, as the Moisia Ballet Company has to maintain its reputation as one of the best in the world. Our mission to bring the, uh, the soul of Russian people, all the people, with our choreography. Igor Moisia founded the company in 1937. He was the first to weave traditional folk dance into its repertoire, with an aim to reflect the world's diverse cultures, customs and costumes. It's important to share this kind of art because it builds bridges between nations. We want to share with people the kindness, energy, sincerity and openness of the Russian people. Sherbakova says the value lies in engaging a worldwide audience to sharing and exchanging ideas through culture. The art is higher than political. If the political is clever, the culture for them means something, you know? We are not for political persons, we are for all the people. During the Year of Culture, Russia is showcasing more than a hundred exhibitions and shows in Qatar. And it's all starting with the Moisev Dance Company here in Qatar's Opera House. Now, the artistic director of the company says she hopes this cultural exchange will help to build bridges and showcase the rich history of Russian arts. Both Qatar and Russia believe these events are important to promote stronger ties between the two nations. This year of culture reflects the wealth of creativity in both countries and the desire of intellectuals and innovators to build bridges and revive common values. To see the culture of Qatar, to see this culture village, to see this wonderful city and to stay here at least for a couple of weeks. And we'd like to have more people from Qatar come to Russia. Moiseev and his company drew on the folk traditions of the Soviet Union and took the world by storm. A legacy Sherbakova is determined to continue. Laura Badmanli, Al Jazeera, Doha.